Hi, my name is Roger Ahuja, and I'm going to take a few minutes to talk to you about how to remove a virus from your computer. Now, this is not a step-by-step. -step. Uh, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to tell you what needs to be done, and I have some supporting videos that can help you do some of the step-by-steps. But this video will be an overall general uh, video on how to remove a virus from your computer. Now, the first step that I always recommend we try is System Restore. If you don't know how to do System Restore, I have another video done that will show you how System Restore works. But the first thing to do will be to boot up off of an operating system disk or a recovery disk and run System Restore. Choose a restore point a day or so prior to you getting the virus. And uh, keep your fingers crossed and hope that that takes care of it because that's the simplest and easiest solution. Now, that doesn't always work. Once you've run System Restore, um, you're going to boot the system back up, and the virus itself should be gone, but there may be some traces left. And at this point, I would rec recommend running SpyBot Search and Destroy and Malwarebytes and whatever antivirus program you're currently running. Um, if you're not familiar with what SpyBot Search and Destroy is, you can Google it and um, find the download and install it and uh, Malwarebytes is uh, another product that uh, is available as a free trial that works really well. If your system comes back clean then obviously we're done and um, that's the end of what you need to do here. Now if it doesn't come clean with System Restore it's going to be a little more complicated. Um, if you're not real familiar with computers, um, at least how to use them, this is going to be a tough process for you. So I would encourage you at this point to find somebody who is reasonably familiar with computers that can help you with this process. This is really not at this point for the entry level user. So the first thing we're going to do um, is to boot, set the computer to boot in safe mode only. Again, I have a separate video on how to set your computer to boot in safe mode. You can check that out if you don't know how to do that. Once you have it set up to boot in safe mode and you've confirmed that it will boot up in safe mode only. Now please make sure you do safe mode with networking. Once you have your computer booting up and running in safe mode with networking, what we want to do is go to a working computer that is not infected and download onto either um, a CD or uh, a memory stick. Uh, download Combo Fix, TDSS Killer, and SpyBot, and Malwarebytes. Now, when you download Combo Fix, you want to download it from bleepingcomputer.com slash download slash Combo Fix. Don't download anything from combofix.com or combofix.org. Um, TDSS Killer is something that's provided by Kaspersky Software. You can Google these and you'll find them uh, relatively easily. And uh, once you uh, have these downloaded, take them back to your infected computer and we're going to run combo fix first and go through and just clean up the whatever it finds so just run combo fix by itself first then what we want to do is run tdss killer by itself and uh, let it do its thing and then once that's done um, then run spybot and malwarebytes and uh, your antivirus program and you can run those simultaneously if you want a lot of times if you go to start computer you can right click on um, your C drive and scan with your antivirus software whatever that might be. Once you finish running the scans in safe mode you're going to need to reboot the machine. So reboot the machine and then run the scans again in safe mode. Make sure everything is gone. Um, with Malwarebytes you have to check certain boxes and click remove to make sure that it's actually gone and sometimes I've forgotten to do that and I find it finds the same thing again. Once everything is clean in safe mode then you're going to boot into normal mode and then we need to turn off system restore. Many times uh, viruses will hide in the files that system restore uses. Again I have a supporting video that will show you how to turn off system restore if you don't know how to do that. Um, once System Restore is turned off, then we need to run the same programs, Malwarebytes, SpyBot, and uh, whatever antivirus program you're using in normal mode. You don't really need to run Combo Fix or TDSS Killer again in normal mode. And that usually takes care of most viruses. 
Now, there are certain boot sector viruses that it, this process may not take care of. Um, and you'll usually know you've got one of those is if the second time you run in safe mode, um, it doesn't come clean. In those situations, uh, there are some additional tools available, but they're really uh, at an advanced level, and I'm not going to get into that. At that point, I would suggest that um, you run a Windows 8 refresh if you're running Windows 8, and I do have a supporting video that can help you do that. Um, if you're running a prior version of the operating system, then um, you can do an in-place install, uh, which will leave your file system intact. But please be very careful uh, and make sure you know what you're doing with this because you can experience data loss if you do this incorrectly. So I would suggest at this point that you take it to a local shop that knows what they're doing that um, can reinstall the operating system without losing any of your data files. And um, that's it.